Hello friends, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Uh, today we will see Adobe Photoshop in that uh, previous tutorial I, I made on Spot Healing Brush Tool. Um, now uh, in front of my uh, uh, eyes basically I have an image in that, uh, I'll just zoom it. I don't want this one and this one. I don't want this board. It should be. Uh, it should be uh, without any, uh, uh, like you know, any other objects here. Here, I don't want. So for that, we will be using Content Aware tool. So let's get started. Right click. I'll say Open with Photoshop. So. I'll just zoom it. I'll just make a selection. Like this. While doing content aware selection, be sure it should be, uh, uh, it should be have a space uh, of a subject. If any subject is there, you should have a proper space uh, to selection to the subject. So it will be properly refined the work. So I'll press shift backspace on my keyboard. The fill option. Uh, there are foreground, background, choose content aware. And it should be on normal mode. Opacity should be on 100%. I'll say OK. Photoshop is basically analyzing and it's done. Be previously, the images are done in uh, Photoshop with the use of stamp tool or clone stamp tool. But now such advance uh, of uh, uh, advance of like content aware tool is very advanced. So we don't even uh, know is there was a uh, subject in this. Same thing I'll select a lasso tool. I'll say shift backspace again content aware it's gone but if you see there is some 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 sort of problem we are facing right now so it's no problem we can we can do it with different tool just press control D now I'll go to pass tool here also we have content aware like selecting a matching like this so we will do it very properly um, I'm selecting I'm selecting this one if you see the arrow if you see this arrow it's it's uh, telling inside Selecting this one, adaptation will be medium that is content. Now, for this one, I'll use spot healing brush tool. Say proximity match. In proximity match we can get a proper results and for getting a proper edge I'll go to clone stamp tool where I'll select or not clone stamp tool I'll go to yeah clone stamp tool Let's increase the size of the brush I'll say aligned I 
just I'll take one more layer this will have a proper texture match so in this thing just we will add one layer mask I'll go on brush have a brush come down with the size come down with the opacity so it will look like a light texture so we'll not get a jerk on this I'll go to content aware move tool where I can select sorry extend I can make oh, oh it's not happening I can assign like this Now we are not feeling the jerk. Same thing we can do over here. We can make things like this or else. same thing we can match like this again this can be match with the patch tool again I am selecting with lasso tool I'll say shift backspace something we have to do over here again I'll go with content aware tool it's done so this is how we can make our things proper with content of a tool this one or else I'll just select spot healing brush tool in this case we have edge and we'll go to clone stamp tool I'll press alt on my keyboard Alt. I'll get a edge. Now I'll go to Spot Healing Brush Tool. Just come with the size. Again, here I'll go to Multiply. I'll go to content aware I'm 
so this is how we match those things so for this tutorial if you like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you have any requirement of tutorials do let me know i'll, I'll try i try to make uh, uh, your tutorial uh, on uh, uh, like uh, priority basis thanks for watching my tutorial and have a nice day